let's take a look at the day's top talkers, folks. A Florida family of professional treasure hunters has literally struck gold. The haul includes a 51, uh, 51 coins, rather, a gold chain, and a tricentennial royal, an extremely rare Spanish coin valued at around half a million dollars alone. The Schmidt family, who are subcontractors for treasure hunting company 1715 Fleet Queen's Jewels, made the discovery off the Florida coast. The treasure came from the flagship of a Spanish treasure fleet destined for the King of Spain. This is not the first time gold has been recovered from the Cap uh, Capitana shipwreck. It was captained by Don Juan Esteban de Obia and sunk nearly 300 years ago, actually 300 years ago this week. The treasure was found about a month ago, but the news of the haul was withheld to coincide with that 300 year anniversary of the wreck. The Schmitz are seasoned treasure hunters and last found gold in 2013, so they know what they're looking for when they're underwater. Oh, I, yeah. I was, oh, rocks. Cool. I love it. Two things that I love and two things that are incredibly mysterious outer space and in the ocean. Under the sea. And under the sea. That's right. Yeah. Very, very rich Schmidt family this morning. <laughs> yeah. So, well, just when you think Mexico's national soccer team has everything figured out because of their big win against Jamaica, head coach Miguel Herrera has lost his job. Whoa. The firing comes a mere two days after he led the team to a CONCACAF Gold Cup title. Herrera is known for his passionate, energetic, and sometimes feisty nature, but this time it got the best of him at an airport in Philadelphia. The incident took place as the team was set to fly home following its 3-1 victory over Jamaica in the championship match. A television reporter accused Herrera of hitting him in the neck and then threatening him. The journalist has been a tough critic of Herrera throughout his term as coach and in a statement, Herrera apologized to his players, staff, fans, the Federation, and the media for his conduct, saying, quote, It is clear to me that this is not the attitude that a coach for the Mexican national team should take, despite having received all manner of criticisms, offenses, and mockery of my family and my person. He goes on to say, quote, It saddens me greatly to leave the position of team coach due to this regrettable reason, since the sporting results were, for the most part, positive within the stated object objectives, end quote. During his tenure, he led the team to a round of 16 at last year's World Cup. He won 18 matches, tied 11, and lost 7. So Mexico's next match is September 4th, and in October, Mexico faces the United States in a qualifying playoff for the 2017 Confederations Cup. So, so what do they do now? Without their heads? So who, who steps into the reins? That has not been revealed yet. No. So um, they're not sure yet. But there's been a little bit of controversy. They did win the Gold Cup, mm -hmm. which is a big deal. But they didn't play well. People don't like really how they won. Mm -hmm. um, so And there's been a lot of controversy with the coach, even though he's so passionate and one of the most fun people to watch mm -hmm. on the sidelines, uh, he's he doesn't come with without controversy. So doesn't they've been talking like about you know kind of getting him out, and this is just kind of the the last straw. Yeah. So we don't know. Yeah, we don't know um, if who is going to take over mm -hmm. his role as head coach yet. But mm -hmm. yeah, in October. Uh, they take on the United States and wow. go USA. We'll have to watch that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, last but not least, guys, a very cool story. A first of its kind surgery has been completed in Philadelphia. Doctors at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia have successfully completed a double hand transplant on a young boy. Eight-year-old Zion Harvey was happy to show off his new hands just weeks after the historic transplant. At a press conference, Harvey said that they felt, quote, weird at first, but then good. And that's it. <laughs> Brevity is the soul of wit there, my friend. Zion had sepsis infection when he was two years old. To save his life, doctors amputated his arms and legs and additionally underwent a liver transplant. Now, it will take months of intensive therapy before Zion can start using and feeling his hands. He says that he is eager to get home to play with his new puppy, oh. I bet. That is such a cool, such a cool story, first of all, you know, giving mm -hmm. this, this young boy an opportunity, really a second chance. Uh, you know, I think it's something that we take for granted every single day. Mm -hmm. But obviously, science, technology moving in, in ways is, is never before seen yeah. and uh, benefiting a very worthy recipient. Yeah.